Americans are projected to spend almost eight and a half billion dollars this Halloween. That's according to the National Retail Federation. The folks who live on Hillcrest <laughs> Avenue, most of them anyway, look forward to this time of year. Meteorologist Tiffany Savona is live there checking out the decorations which attract visitors from all over the area. Hi, Tiffany. <laughs> Hi, Vicki. Check out all of these costumes behind me. Everyone is trick or treating. You know, you have spooky decorations. You also have happy decorations. Uh, this house behind me, the Carpenter House, they are taking photos for free and then giving you printouts. So if you don't have a camera, uh, you are in luck. Lots of fun going on on Hillcrest Avenue. All of these costumes, it's starting to get very busy on Hillcrest Avenue. I'm going to introduce you to my friend Kevin. Say hi, Kevin. What is your costume? Ninja Turtle. A Ninja Turtle, and you have lots of candy there. We're going to talk to your mom really quickly, and this is your tradition for your yes, family, right? Yes, come every year. This is very nice, family friendly, and um, we enjoy it every year. And what is your favorite part? Uh, I love the picture booth because we get memories <laughs> <laughs> of the Halloween and the candy and just uh, the atmosphere. And what is your favorite house you've seen so far? So far, uh, we just started, so this one right okay. here is so far so good. And you already got your picture taken and everything. So you can expect anything and everything here on Hillcrest Avenue. We have the minions there. We've seen a lot of, uh, uh, we've seen a couple of clowns. We've seen Ninja Turtles. We've seen princesses, princes, and uh, the costumes look great out here. The weather is looking great as well. If you haven't taken the kids out trick-or-treating just yet, it's a little warm. I have a light jacket on. You may want to skip the underlayers because I think the kids will be just fine, especially if they're running around. Temperatures will be falling out of the 70s and into the 60s.